There's still light up there. A hole. It's not even one span deep. Firmly latched. Hello? No one's answering. I should keep the destruction in here to a minimum. Something's written here about the beetle of Asmodeus. Whatever is put into it can never be retrieved by anyone but Master Asmodeus himself. Hmm, but Master Asmodeus has been dead for years. Eos causa discimus, Eos causa discimus. He scribbled this saying all over the place. Eos causa discimus. Eos causa discimus. Eos causa discimus. What? What's wrong with you? All those faces. Thousands of shards. Hisinda, save my mind. Eos causa discimus. Eos causa discimus. His eyes look like he hasn't closed them for days. Geron, you're alive! By Saturnav's empty gaze, I was convinced that the seer had sealed your fate. The raven is the seer. He's got Nuri, but I've been to her world. Slow down. Slow down. One thing after another. You're safe here for now. What's new? What do you want to know? What did you experience? The way to Andergast was cumbersome. Cursed crows and soulless fairy creatures. But look, I'm still alive. What happened to your leg? Oh, I've been bitten by worse. Shall I tell you about the fairy tooth I once found? I haven't got time for that, Giacomo. Have you gathered all the knowledge we're looking for? Well, hmm. According to Magister Doroda, the harp bears great chaotic powers of unknown origin. It seems impossible to destroy, and any attempt to play it results in death for humans. I have a feeling this is just the beginning of my journey. Is there anything else you found out? The harp is not only the source of the Crow Plague. Since Nuri has been playing it, it's been sending us a veritable tempest of crows. If that's all you found out, we really have to find the harp now. This, um, is something the Magistra hasn't noted anywhere, I'm afraid. There must be more records somewhere, but the library is huge and not well sorted. We don't have time, Giacomo. We have to be faster in our search now. Tell me about those visions that plagued the Andagastians. Madness is rampant. Hardly anyone can stand the dark visions of the future. Is there any protection against them? Well, I for one haven't slept in days. But that can't be a permanent solution. Why does the Seer send visions? Does he want to make everyone crazy? I fear it might be worse than that. He's collecting all the dreams with the help of the harp to outwit Saturnav, in order to divine the truth about the future from the dreams. He said he wanted to avert a catastrophe and doesn't want to die. He must have seen his own death. He's challenging fate itself by combining the visions of thousands in order to know what will happen. That's... that's crazy, isn't it? Is that even possible? I'm not concerned about his plans. It's his deeds that I'm worried about, and those cause death and destruction. About something else. 
Ever since the attack of the crows in the royal chambers, I've had this recurring dream of the seer's execution. Crows have made you dream of the seer? Very unsettling. I was finally able to unravel this dream in the fairy's realm. The seer must have cast his own soul into the raven while he was on the stake. He used a magic ring for that. He's demanding it back from the king now. The mysterious artifact of the seer that was salvaged from the ashes back then. What do you know about this artifact? What exactly do you want to know? Do you know where the artifact is nowadays? No magic could touch the ring. It could neither be dischanted nor destroyed. That's why the thing should be kept safe in the academy. Magister Oakwood took care of it when the seer revealed himself the second time. I'll look in the library to see if there are any records left concerning that. Who's Magister Oakwood? The Vice-Chancellor of the Academy. Keeper of the Seer's Ring. He's locked himself in his study for days. You'll find the chamber right next to the stairs in the hall, but he has locked the door using magic. I don't even know if he's still alive. Do you know how an exchange of souls can be done? That's a difficult question. The answer to which is hidden between heaven and earth. Please, Giacomo, explain it to me as simply as you can. Well, all right. Every being has a magical element along with its physical existence. The astral body, concealed deep within, lies our soul, purportedly. With powerful magic, it might be possible to open up the astral bodies of two living beings and exchange their souls. So the seer wants the artifact in order to get back into a human body? One would imagine, yes. Perhaps even the king's body? What are you saying? Ah, just a thought. The seer is still captured in the raven's body. And what did Gwynling used to say? To catch a bird you need two things. A proper net and the right bait. Wait! This is dangerous. Why? If the seer is so desperate for the ring, he might drop his guard. Or we'll let him get his hands on the artifact and do exactly what we originally planned to avert. Do you think you're telling me something I don't know? But we are not the future's slaves and I don't see any alternative. I'll find this artifact for sure. I'll be back soon. Are you still using this magic looking glass? The magnifier? Not at the moment, no. But bring it back when you're done. The handwriting of Magistra Doroda is so tiny. I'm taking this away from you. You need to be of sober mind. In vino veritas. Yeah, sure. Write it down and hang it on the wall. find the harp. I'm certain the seer keeps her captive there. What's written here? The print is so small. What's written here? Raven's Peak. What does that mean? Thank you.
Raven's Peak, Raven's Peak. Here, the mountain Raven's Peak in the Stone Oak Forest. And on this page, Magician Dorota has drawn the way to the Magic Harp. Excellent. The tablet is wedged. Looky here. Must be a magic key. It could fit into this hole. Aha! So, what now? I hope this isn't just for kicks. Interesting. If I turn the word Eos upside down, the letters turn into numbers. What happens now? What the devil? Finally, a tablet I can read, which doesn't automatically mean that I understand it all. The Cage of Asmodeus, to keep valuable or forbidden artifacts, surrounded by cumulative destroyer magic. Be very aware. Destroyer magic is conferred to every object or subject that comes into contact with the cage, whether directly or indirectly. Whatever falls into the cage cannot escape forevermore. Invisible threads of power hold the desideratum in the middle of the cage. For the sake of old times. What if I just let them drop in? The shards hover in there like the wooden ring. If I reach into the jug from above now... Oh, damn it! No, not this way. This is the artifact the seer escaped the flames with, and now his spirit rests in the body of a raven. So much for your invincible cage.